This is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly. I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it. You're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Well, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Citizen, I hope you weren't harmed by my meteorophic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. 
For you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comlita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Hold still! Oh jeez! Wait up, fly! Take a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Get back here, Ringtail! This wasn't part of the play out. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Stop, thief! Freeze! Hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Meet me up at the rendezvous. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that Constable Neela, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. 
Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Mike, if you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your thief mask. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, why? I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Click the L3 button to locate your next objective. 
From here. Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. Get inside. You'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. Buddy, I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Fear the Murray! Sly, let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, get near the table and press the circle button. These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him.
circle button to crawl inside. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then, the square button to slam and finish him off. Got that? The triangle button, then the square button. That sneak attack slam move only works on guards who haven't seen you. Wait until this guy turns his back, and then let him have it. with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. Recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Job title. 
I managed to outfit this forged painting with a bug. I need you to sneak into Dimitri's office and swap it with the original. Nice. So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. <laughs> never was one for the direct approach. Well, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. If you get caught, you can run away by holding... 